This one seems a lot easier than the last one. <laughs> mm. But then I suppose this is an earlier one, if you see what I mean. Yeah, yeah, totally. No, it's for the end, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Which means that what the last one is... But there's the one missing on the other side still, isn't there? Maybe that's why there's a blank. Or is there one up there? There's one up there. I think that's the one for the left. You want really? The, yeah. And you want the circle to stay on this side, so you're turning it to be that way. it's like there's a spiral start at an end to the pattern. Yeah, yeah. You need to turn that. I'm going to. Okay. Oh, you're just going to do this one instead. Uh, actually, I should probably do it from like one back, shouldn't I? Yeah. I assume it will actually tip over in the doorway, but it might look a bit weird. I don't know. Mm. No, it won't. Oh, you're just shoving so it. yes, I do need to do it this way push it one out of the way, I can get past it. <laughs> and then shove it back in. Perfect. Which means this one must be for the other side. And that's just the blank. Yeah, you just need to turn that to face this way. It's a couple from the door, I think. Well, it can't be the edge one, because that one's always the uh, thing. Spiral? Yeah. Yeah. This has to be one further along. There we go. It's a particularly nice mural. I think you could just jump down. I'm mostly impressed that that was pretty weird and pretty weird. Mm. Kind of a shame it stopped glowing. I was hoping it would persist. I don't know if any speech from tentacles. You don't seem to. It just seemed to be the first time where I explained what they were. What does it do? Okay. Mm. So do we want to try and get the next one? Sure thing. It's the sound glyph and we need the false projectile and we're going to the silenced cathedral. I know where it is. Probably the bit that has the bit. Well, that we said we were going to go back to anyway, yeah. The bit where you shatter the thing. I've already speared it. <laughs> That's quite near the beginning of that area too, isn't it? Or is it? Um. I think you just want to go down. No, I want to get over there somehow, don't I? Oh. Um, 
Hmm. Hmm. Did I turn and look to your right slightly? Mm, this is, there's nothing there to grab onto right on that bit of wall there. And... Oh, That's it, right? just moved it, yeah. yeah. I think you can glide over there as well. Yeah, you can totally reach that. Make sure to lock ourselves back in. <laughs> really? Oh, you can't. Oh, that's <laughs> you. I was going to pull it out and drop it down. Maybe they figured someone might be able to do something sneaky doing that. Oh, is it just a bit of pie? Pie! We only need one more and then we're going to power up again. Oh, wait, what's that over there? Wait, sack right. What? Oh, over there. Oh, is that just where we were before? Yeah. I thought it might be like a higher up area. Don't think we can get any higher up now. No, I think that might be your lot. Just in case. No, that basically didn't warp. No, it didn't. So these must just delineate the uh, top of the level. I think you can just glide all the way down. All that. They just want to skip down. I mean, uh, to an extent, what I should have done really is um, go through the teleporter. Mm. Might have been slightly quicker. Rather than going through here. Um. We. nicer than Tomb Raider because you don't have to worry about holding your breath because you're dead. That's one way of saying things. Because <laughs> the, it's like certain Tomb Raiders you'd have to worry about your air and then others you didn't. Well for example I remember one of the Tomb Raiders you didn't have to worry about air because you just had a underwater breathing yeah. you know like you would. Yeah. Oh is that another? Yeah I think we're going to get it sooner than expected. Oh cool. Right watch, watch the, the yeah, yeah. Twiddly. Oh, yeah. So it goes up quite a bit. So we didn't see that the first time it happened, but yeah. You're going to the right, I believe, yeah. Sometimes there is a lot of swirly. So I'm glad we didn't um, teleport back in the end. We would have missed it. Have that, that. Yeah. And there's a teleporter here. Hmm, bottom or the top, do you think? I would assume the bottom, because isn't it fairly near the bottom? I'll check. Silence Cathedral, work your way back to the first room with the giant fan pit. Instead of floating upwards this time, jump in the pit, find the tunnel leading to the Zephanum adult, and a wall you can climb. I know where that is, I think. Um, I think it's also just about the same from the top or the bottom. Okay. Because whilst it might take quite a while to get down, it also takes quite a while to actually get to where you can... Like, you have to jump through that, that bit with all of the... Um, well, I'm not sure quite how to describe it, but it's, it's not quite straightforward is what mm -hmm. I'm getting at. So either way, it's a bit of a slog. I don't think that's the way forward. It's the other direction you want. Oh, bear in mind I'm trying to go back, not forward. Well, yeah, you're trying to go to the main chamber, aren't you? Yeah. Is it this way then? I'm pretty sure it's this way. You're going down and then over the bottom pipe. Out that way. It's forward. 
Yes, do you see what I mean by it's not actually much quicker or slower either way, really? This was not, no. Here we go. We're in the big room. Do I go all the way down? I think that's what it says, yeah. Here we go then. And I'm assuming this is the chamber that I can shoot the uh, window yeah, out with. Yeah, it's a tunnel that you're going through. This looks right, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Yeah, there it is. Which I've already pierced, so if I shoot this, will that fall? No, it's still <laughs> there. Hopefully you can like grab it from the air or something. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, you've got a stick. That's marvellous. Okay, let's see what we can see up here. Ah, you gonna chuck it through? Hells to the air. So yes, we're gonna go incorporeal. We're gonna whoosh through the door. Whoosh. So your incorporeal thing, your little spiral, never seems to change. No, it's only the um, physical powers you're changing. Then it's like all it is is enough power to get to the physical realm anyway. It's not like it's your health indicator as much. Yeah, you're. Oh, I don't know. I think it just doesn't change for whatever reason. You're looking for a portal to become physical. Is here. That's already interesting, whatever that is. Touch of sense description, maybe? Well, I know what it is, but. Um... Or either that or like a giant golf ball tee. And that's it? How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> We need to get up there somehow. Oh! Hadn't noticed that there. Oops. It's just his uh, sideway motion in this game. Quite slow. It is rather. So I was hoping to get onto a, a more even area. Oh, well, then, never mind. That's, that's a music note. Right, I can see that. All right, jumping up and floating over. Oh no, oh no. Do we need to... But we need this thing with us. It's a bit like the fire shrine in that we need to take the torch from one area to the next. Okay, do you just leave it here or...? Well, what I'm going to do is save it. <laughs> Which I always do before throwing anything in this game in case I lose it forever. Oops, B. B. You can't break that, can you? Okay, just in case. Good thinking. I mean, it's uh. The right sort of shape and stuff, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just gonna. Just blindly throw that over there. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Which, I don't know, does that count as cheating? Because I know that I'm so that I can throw it over there. It's just, it's easier than doing it how it really wants you to do it, which is to throw it to one of those, then to one of those, then go back, so on and so forth. And it's like, I'm not doing that. So does that mean you don't have to bother going left or right here? Pretty much, yeah. Go for it then. And of course you can get from A to B now as well. Ah, it's down there. Mm. That's still okay. Because we can have a look over here and then realise we can't break it anyway. You're thinking you could throw it that way? Don't worry, we can do it. I was thinking do it from closer, but... I could probably just... 
Because the thing is, is that it drops to the ground after it's up there, so that's probably fine. But let's uh, make that climb again. Also, I think there was something there that we smashed the first time we threw it, because yeah, I did hear I think a smash. So. I, heard, I heard a glass smash. Definitely, yeah. Same as I like the way the music distorts when you're in the spectral realm as yeah, well. Yeah. Just all those little details are so wonderful. Which is why I think it would be interesting to know about sort of making it, because it's like, it mustn't be, are they actually alternate tracks, or do they have mathematics that applies to the tracks? Mm, good question. So obviously one saves more space overall. You do wonder how they fit this much um, stuff. Seems like pretty big CD. for a PS1 game, yeah. Oh, is it a gong? It's a beater. Yeah. But you can hit these bells, never mind. That was that one. And it is tempting to take such a unique thing with me, but I think instead we'll lay it here. <laughs> mm. So we slap our hands together to create the noise. That's cool. Or we fire. Do it up to do the fire. And then we've got what's stone. Looks very lightning -y for stone, but. <laughs> I think it's the whole striking stone thing. Yeah. Uh, so the next one is the fire blade. Is, okay. is that one? It says you just need the swim ability. Yeah, yeah. Drown Daddy. Go to the warp room specifically at the Drown Daddy, the one with the T shape attached to the S shape. You're going down anyway here. That In the physical realm to get through there. Zwam. Does that actually change at all? Yes, wow, a lot. It's like got a sort of hooded appearance in the other world. Mm, it's all straight up and down here. In fact, that, that changed a lot more than I was expecting it to. <laughs> I thought it would just... Because, you know, some, some bits just straighten up slightly or, you know... Yeah, yeah. But that, like, the whole shape of it changed. That was cool. <gasps> oh no! I think you're gonna have to deal with it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna come back in a bit. <laughs> really? Yeah, we just saved it. Fair enough, fair enough. Go for it then. So here we have uh, the mural that we smashed with the beta. I thought since we had to reset it because we attacked a human anyway, and they don't stop ever, <laughs> um, that we'd come here and do it. So what I'm curious about now is, can you only use the beta to destroy this, or can you use anything? Because that's clearly a, a picture of a bloke with a beta beating the glass, right? Oh yeah, it's like a gong. Oh. Yeah, you can smash it with you anything. You can smash it anyway. But yeah, it was nice to see the picture.
It's worth a try. And then when we jump up here, don't, don't kill, kill them. the people. <laughs> It's because they're slu slua in the other thing. Worship me! Worship me. Yes, it says, Walk room drowned Abby, the one with the T shape attached to an S shape. I'm curious what it means when it says a T and an S, so I'm sure I'll. Uh, not that. That looks that, right. Yeah. It's the drowned Abby. Right, that makes sense. That's um, Rahab's symbol. Go to the wall through, through the door opposite. Shoot your way through the false projectile door. Jump in the water. Trying to make sense of where this is telling you to go. Hmm. Hmm. This is a false projectile, though. Oh, haven't we seen one of these before? Yes, it's what led us into the Drowned Abbey in the first place. It's the same door. And yes, you can see that the windows have opened now. Right, so this says. Go right to where the gate is. Oh, uh, jump in the water. I just just say jump in the water. And then go right to where the gate is. Yeah. Jump out of, onto the water, onto the ledge above it. Okay, I'm assuming I can get there by doing this trick. The old false jump. Yeah. Uh, follow this waterway to the gate, which you must phase through. Down there, then. Through here? This is a door I have to phase through. Jump in, hold on the other side. Phase through, use the portal on the other side, and you find yourself back in the main room of the abbey. Yeah. I found myself back in the main room of the abbey. <laughs> Go on the opposite side of the circular building, in the middle is a glass barrier you can shatter with false projectile. Oh, I was enjoying that. Sorry, it messed up <laughs> I when I transitioned. Notice. Does it mean through here? Uh, yes, I think so. Okay. At the bottom of the staircase behind is a chamber full of Rahambin cocoons. Yep. The staircase you need is almost directly opposite as you come out. Nothing else but a few power refills. Oh, right. Did we just not miss get this? Because we came out of here, didn't we? And up into the sun like this. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have a bean down here. Uh, at the bottom of the second staircase is a corridor. On the left-hand side is another glass barrier to shoot. That looks familiar. Yes, that's Inside, quite find a health refill area and a flame which you should swing your blade through. And there's a picture as well. Actually, you know, I should have taken a closer look at the mural. It had, it had a soul reaver on it, basically. Because yes, that's the soul reaver.
This elemental forge is tuned to the Soul Reaver's energy. Once baptized in this primordial flame, the blade may be imbued with fire at any future time. Okay. Dark Rousier. Hmm, that's pretty cool looking. <laughs> so is that permanent, or does it say you need to come back for it? Um, I'm assuming that once you have the ability, that all you need to do is... Hey, you're not allowed to come here. Do you want to try it out on it? Can he actually come out of the water properly? I'm not sure he can. Oh, I think you hit the wall edge. They're probably not the best ones to practice on, if mm -hmm. I'm honest. We could probably just ignore him. I'm not sure that's hitting him. It's just it's gonna go away seems like well. <laughs> seems like going to the water. Next is the uh, water glyph. Is that here as well? Hmm. Human Citadel. Oh. Yes, you need to get there. We know how to get there, don't we? You get, do you know how to get there? Actually, come to think of it, there's a lot more I can do in the Citadel now that I have this ability to swim. What is this? So you head to the Swirl Pattern Warp Gate. Oh. What is that? Is that the, um, the guy you killed? I'm assuming it's there. Uh, yeah, fish face. And this is where they're, what, incubating? Uh, go to the right here, I think. Far right. I wanted to make oh, sure I could on. actually just see this for a start. Ugh. Yeah, it's quite a visage. But I'm assuming I'm just leaving pretty much the way I came in, or...? You could, I think you, I don't know, because it's basically saying you're getting out of this whole area because you're going to do the human citadel. If can be found human citadel need to get there. Head to the swirl pattern warp gate. I don't know what the fuck that means. It means the the warp gate back to the the place where I was thrown in. Yeah. Well this is a way out. Eventually. Yes, it just means return to like the, the cliff thing. There's so many magic um, restorative things. Didn't you say you had to only use them every so often as well? That way. Well, you don't need to use them very often, no. And then, oh, I don't think that's the way you no, want to go. No, that's the fire. Uh, that's the fire shrine. I want you want to go, go out the normal entrance. By the sounds of it, we can basically get most of these now. Also, well, do you want to just keep um, getting them then? Do you want to go to the human citadel and pick it up? Do you have a fire glyph that says you need the fire blade? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, we already have it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it after this section. What? With the. Huh? Sorry, what were you saying again <clears throat> anyway? Sorry? What did you say before I said you need the fire, fire blade? I don't, I've just been so thrown off by you need the fire blade to get the fire glyph, despite the fact that we have it, that... What? Um... Hmm. Yes, this way is probably fine. There's a teleporter just over here. Although, since I'm here anyway, let's do this. Hmm. 
Where them souls are. Yeah? Yeah, I was going to say I can hear them. One's coming. There you go, run away. Run. It's taking its sweet time there. Well, I think the Slua also um, swallow the souls. Yes, the, the reason I wanted to do it is because there's a fire, like, right here, so I don't want to imbue while I'm here. Oh, yeah. Very fancy. So, I'm assuming the swirly is this. And yes, it points out if you haven't killed any um, humans, this fits easy. I thought it wanted me to go to the human citadel. Yeah? Well, I've got a teleporter for the human citadel. Oh, this might be assuming you don't have it yet. Yes, its direction is to jump over the broken bridge, go left. Passageway, running water, glider, and emerge outside human citadel. So if you've got your own teleport spot, that's for Yes, it says if you haven't killed any humans, this is easy. And if you have, oh dear. Human citadel. I think this is the human citadel. Assuming you're going to be at the entrance to the citadel. This isn't the human citadel, is it? Go back in and do the other one. This is where we need to go <laughs> forward from, like if we continue to kill the next vampire. I'm not sure it is. I'm not sure what we're doing next. I've lost track. It is that place. Well, actually, it would be a good idea to go and talk to... Um, Mr. Tentacles and oh, the lady. Ariel? Yeah. 